Hello everyone, welcome to ACCAP 6 lectures. If you could move to uh, question number 35 of your BPP exam kit, please. Question number 35 of your BPP exam kit. And question name is uh, a Nocturne Limited, please. And it was examined in 15, 2015, June. Nocturne Limited. We are only going to do the part C of this question. So part C, which is worth nine marks, we are only going to do this, this part. And in part C, one, it says that determined by reference to the de minimis test one and two, uh, Nocturne Limited's recoverable input VAT for the year ended 31st of March 2018. So determine with reference to de minimis test one and two. He's not asking us to calculate with the reference to the de minimis test three, so that is not required. And that is a complicated test. And in the part B, uh, he's asking that advice Siglio of Nectar Limited's eligibility for the annual test of computing the amount of recoverable input VAT for the year ended 31st of March 2019 and potential benefits to be gained from its use. So first it says that uh, Calculate if uh, first it says that see if the de minimis test one and two apply or not. Then in the second one it says that annual test you want to apply the annual test. All right. So we'll have to see if de minimis test applies in the current year or not. If de minimis test apply any of the de minimis test apply in this year, then uh, it is she is eligible to apply for the annual um, annual election. All right. So if she applies then what are the benefits benefits will be that she will be able to recover the input tax on all of uh, all of the uh, she will recover all of her input tax so uh, you know the attributable to the taxable supplies and also attributable to the exam supplies so that is benefit that is one benefit so there will be a lot of cash coming in that is a benefit and another benefit is that normally you have to do it four times a year which is a lot of administration and headache so you will only be doing once a year, so that is another benefit, so uh, there will be less administration required. Right, and uh, uh, then that is a benefit basically. Then also you will have to communicate the uh, conditions as well. So in the previous year she was partially exempt, uh, I mean in the previous year the, she was uh, you know, the fulfilling the criteria of de minimis tests. Then you know, it will apply throughout the year consistently an input tax of less than 1 million pounds as well so expected input tax of less than 1 million pounds so you'll have to uh, uh, you know communicate them conditions as well so you'll have to communicate them conditions then you'll have to say that if she's fulfilling them conditions or not 1 million pound you know that that's fine so so she, she should be fulfilling that condition now assuming that she you know, fulfills the de minimis test current year that condition is also satisfied and the other condition as well the throughout the year so if she fulfills them conditions so what the benefits again would be that she will be a lot of cash she will be receiving and there will be less administration as well but after one year she will have to uh, review that the de minimis test which she's applied this year uh, if she, that applies again or not if the that de, de minimis is failed to apply then she will have to repay the claimed input VAT right now anyway let's start the part C, C1 we have done the part C2 which I've just told you that was part C2 in which you have to communicate the communi uh, condition of the annual test then the benefits and also you know the, what would happen after one year so that was one bit now if you see part a1 yeah, sorry part c1 so we'll have to read the question for that a VAT partial exemption uh, and limited is partially exempt for the purposes of VAT and limited turnover for the tax year 31st of March 2018 was 250,000 pounds uh, sorry 240,000 pounds that is VAT, VAT exclusive amount so that is a total turnover Total value of the value of the total supplies. Then, uh, and limited turnover for the year as a whole for VAT purposes comprised 86% of taxable supplies and 14% of exempt supplies. Right? So, exempt supplies are less than 50%. Right? So, these are only 14%. Exempt supplies are less than 50%. Now, in the uh, in in the next bit, it says that the input VAT suffered by and limited on expenditure during the year and the 31st of March 2018 was. So this is, this is the input tax which is paid on the expenditure during the year. Wholly attributable to the taxable supplies 7920, that is fully deductible or fully recoverable. Wholly attributable to the exempt supplies, so we are not sure if it is or not. If de minimis test applies, then it will be recoverable. 
and unattributable. So out of unattributable, 86% uh, will be attributable to the taxable supplies, which will be fully recoverable, and the remaining 14% will be for the exempt supplies. So that might be recoverable or might not be recoverable, depending on if the de minimis test applies or not. Right? And then, uh, unlimited expect its turnover and expenditure, to, uh, expenditure figure to increase by approximately 25% next year. So, if it is, uh, it is ex increasing next year, so uh, if the turnover is ex uh, increasing and expenditure are also increasing, chances are that uh, this D minimus test might not apply in the next year because the D, these D minimus tests are only 625 pounds per month on average, so hopefully it will be more than that. In the, come in the coming years and then uh, s has heard about annual test so we have done that requirement anyway so uh, we have to see that if the test one or test two apply or not so what are test one and test two uh, what are test one and test two so if you open up your lecture notes in the test one it says total input vat is 625 pounds or less than a month on average so total input vat how much is the total input vat just open up the question again let me so uh, just give me one second so total input vat total input vat is a uh, 7920 plus 1062 plus 4150 so our total input vat if we divide that by 2 uh, sorry divide, divide that by 12 which will give me the figure of per month so that is a uh, per month so per month is 1094 if you can see on your calculators just do it on the calculator I'm, I'm just doing it on the board for my own is just to explain you the things you won't be able to see this uh, because it is in the screen share mode so just do it on the calculator so see the total VAT uh, so this was the total VAT 13132 and we have divided that by 12 to see uh, how much is in, the, in, in, in one month so it is 1094 it should have been 625 so it is not so test one does not apply part two of the test one is so if you see the complete test one so test one says that total input vat is 625 pounds or less a month on average and so and after and it says the value of exempt supplies is 50 percent or less of total value so that second part of the first test applies because value of exempt supplies is less than 50 percent is only 14 percent right however uh, you know the total input vat is 625 a month uh, 625 or less a month on average it's not because it is 1094 so first test does not apply in the second test in the notes if you see second test in the notes it says total input vat so total input vat is how much total input vat is uh, 13132 total input vat less input vat directly attributable to taxable supplies so how much is directly attributable to taxable supplies directly attributable to taxable supplies is 7920 so less 7920 how much it is 13132 less 7920 so 13 132 less 7920 that is a 5212 divided by 12 that is 434 so it must be 625 pounds a month or less than on average or less than that on average so second test test 2 it says total input VAT which is 13132 less VAT attributable to taxable supplies less 7920 uh, is 625 pounds or less a month on average so it is 432 yes it applies now the second part of the second test it says and value of exempt supplies is 50% or less than of total supplies yes uh, you know the exempt supplies are only 14% of total supplies so yes second test applies so uh, de minimus test 2 applies so test 2 fulfills the criteria in this part so uh, you know she can uh, she can claim whole of the uh, input VAT including the one attributable to the exempt supplies all right so she can contribute uh, she can do the total of it or a total of that now assuming if the second test does not apply now this part the uh, one which i am going to do now 
this does not apply to this question, but I'm just, uh, I'm just doing it to make your concept clearer. Now, assuming the test 2 does not apply, then we will move to the test 3. Now, what does the test 3 say? Test 3 says that input VAT wholly attributable to exempt supplies, which is how much? Input tax wholly attributable to exempt supplies. Wholly attributable to exempt supplies is uh, 1062. Input tax wholly attributable to exempt supplies uh, in the notes. Uh, input input VAT wholly attributable to exempt supplies plus residual VAT attributable to exempt supplies. So residual VAT attributable to exempt supplies is how much? Residual total is 4150 times 14% which will be exempt share. So let me see that as well. So uh, 4150 plus sorry 4150 times 14 percent and that is 581 and uh, sorry 581 that is 581 all right so uh, 4150 times 14 percent that is 581 so if we add a uh, 1062, uh, 1062 into it, so 1062 is wholly attributable to exempt supplies, 582 is out of the unattributable, so only exempt share is 582. So 1062 plus 582 is how much? 1062 plus 582, that is a 1644 total, total of exempt supplies, including unattributable. So in the notice it says, uh, input VAT wholly attributable to uh, exempt supplies, which is 1062, plus residual VAT attributed, attributed to exempt supplies, that is 582, so total is 1644, i.e. total of exempt input VAT is 625 or less a month on average. Is it 625? Let's see. So, so 137, that is one, uh, 625, less than 625 a month on average. So 137 that is, and uh, uh, then the second part says, and it's 50% or less than of total input VAT. So total input VAT was 13,132. That is only, uh, you know, the, that is only uh, 1644. So uh, 1644 is less than, uh, you know, half of the, I mean, it is less than half of the total input VAT. So assuming if the second test does not apply, the third test would have been applied anyway. So according to the third test as well, that uh, the, you know, the T minimus test applies, so the whole uh, input VAT is recoverable, all right? So you can do this question again, and applying the all three cases, then you will be able to understand it in a better way, all right? Just read the tests from the notes, then uh, you know, apply this knowledge on the question, then you will be you will be able to do it in a clearer way. Now, if you just look at the, on the board, that is uh, taxable supplies. That is taxable supplies, and it is input VAT total. Input VAT. All right, and that is total. This 6582, that is unattributed portion. So, unattributed portion is, which is 14%. All right, and 14% uh, of what? 14% of this 4150, right? So uh, that's it. Uh, I don't think there is anything else to mention. All right, so that's it. Now, if you could uh, come to your lecture notes, please. There's just small one topic left. I won't be sharing the screen again with you. Just come up to your lecture notes on page number 97, please. Capital good scheme. Now, certain assets. We, uh, if we purchase them assets, we cannot recover the input VAT straight away because they, them are so expensive. So we will see how much is the use, how much is the use of them assets, and then we will uh, recover on yearly basis. Right. So capital goods scheme. The capital goods scheme applies to the computers, boat, aircraft costing fifty thousand pounds or more, which are dealt with over five VAT years. So we'll uh, do it on over five VAT years. And then if we have purchased land and building costing two hundred fifty thousand pounds or more. Now these will be dealt over 10 years. How do we do it in the first year? We'll take input VAT recoverable is equal to cost of purchase times 20% and times uh, percentage of use in the first year. 
In subsequent years, we'll take that exactly that same thing, cost of purchase time, 20% time, percentage of use in the first year. Then we'll deduct the percentage of use in the, that year, which we were referring to, times one over five if it is a computer bought in aircraft, however, if it is a land building, one over 10. And in the year of sale, it will be, you know, the cost of purchase time 20% times 100% less highest use in any person any year times remaining years over 5 if it is computer and over 10 if it is land and building. So that was our capital goods scheme. We will do that question as well which is relevant to capital goods scheme. However, for now uh, it's a buy. I will see you in the next video.